Over the past few months, COVID-19 cases, hospitalizations, and deaths in Alabama have set record highs, but there may be hope on the horizon. In fact, Amanda, WDHN's Alex Valdez is in our newsroom. Alex, I understand you spoke to the president of the Alabama Hospital Association about the current COVID picture. Good evening, Mike and Amanda. I spoke with Dr. Williamson with the Alabama Hospital Association, and he tells me some good news. But he says this will only be confirmed when the numbers from Labor Day, which was a big football weekend, come in. According to Williamson, when looking at the number of hospitalizations during the last couple weeks, the state of Alabama might have hit a plateau. But he says only the coming weeks will tell. We had 2,776 patients in the hospital. And that is about 300 below our historic highs. But we're running that number now for over a week. Williamson says in the UK, the Delta variant peaked for about two months and suddenly declined with no reason why. He says that seems to be what hospitals in Alabama are seeing, but he says enough bad practices can reverse these numbers. He says it is important to practice all CDC guidelines when it comes to fighting the coronavirus because this is the only way to be sure we have hit a plateau. While there there may be a perception that things have gotten better. The reality is things have simply stabilized a little bit at an unacceptably high level. Dr. Williamson says the only long-term solution to bring statewide hospitalizations down is vaccinations. He says vaccines are critical to move us out of what he calls a problematic situation. We think the next Two weeks uh, or 10 days are going to be critical in telling us if this, if we've reached a plateau and it's going to stay there and begin to improve, or if this is simply a pause before our numbers go even higher. Of course, we'll keep you updated with what Dr. Williamson finds in the coming weeks. But in the meantime, he encourages people to wear their mask, get vaccinated, and people who are not to just get their vaccines. Back to you, Mike and Amanda.